Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to 2023. And it started off pretty good. We have a Browns victory Sunday to start off 2023. They just defeated the Washington Commanders 24-10. to Deshaun Watson with three touchdowns all in the second half. Um, he played pretty okay. Uh, first half, he was terrible. Um, missing guys, just holding onto the ball way too long. It was bad. The first half offense was terrible for the Browns. Um, you know, the only real offense that we could muster was with Nick Chubb. That was it in regards to the first half. Um, uh, but second half is when things started to change because, I think this may have been the first game all year long where the Browns made second half adjustments and we actually played better in the second half than our first half. Uh, Watson was able to throw three touchdowns, two to Amari Cooper and one to DPJ. They've gotten in the end zone. Uh, you got Nick Chubb with over 100 yards of rushing, Deshaun Watson using his legs and RPOs, getting first downs, Staying alive from would-be sacks and either making, uh, you know, getting no loss at all or making a play. So Deshaun Watson is probably, I would say it's the second best game he's played. I would say Cincinnati is his best game he's played so far. Um, but this one was really good. It's another step in the right direction for Watson. Um, but that first half is was really bad, especially the fourth and goal play. You're at the three-yard line. And Kevin Stefanski runs an RPO from the three. That right there is just stupid to me. I don't understand a play call. Like, I understand, okay, if you're trying to say, okay, well, if we don't get it, they're going to be at their three and we're going to have to stop them, right? They have to go the full length of, a, of the field, you know, it's gonna, and we'll be in better field, field position, right? Yet you're up three to nothing, you have a chance to go up six nothing. You have chance. You have a chance to put points up on the board in order to increase your lead. But for some reason, I don't know if it's De Podesta or Kevin Stefanski thing or analytics thing, where they just feel like field goals are such a, a hindrance. I don't understand that. I don't. I would much rather take the points than try and get a touchdown on a horrible play call, which is what they tried to do. And, of course, what happens, Washington gets the ball, goes on a 21-play, 95-yard drive, and scores a touchdown, and it took 12 minutes off the clock. That play, the whole sequence made no sense to me. It was a dumb play call. I understand if, the, if trying to pin them back in their own half of the field is the reason why they did it. But it just doesn't make any sense to me. I thought that play was stupid. Um, Dean Funds played pretty good. I will have to say, though, Ron Rivera deserves to be fired after his decision today. There is no reason, no logical person would have said, yes, Carson Wentz gives me a better uh, way to win than Taylor Heineke. Nobody, no sane person would say that to you. But for some reason, Ron Rivera decided, hey, Season's on the line. We cannot lose two more games. We need to win these next two games. Decides to put in the worst of the two quarterbacks into, <laughs> into the game. And what is what happens? Carson Wentz throws three picks. And the uh, commander's season is over. Um, defense played all right. They had help from Carson Wentz just being Carson Wentz. You know, I don't think it's been such a weird experience to see the downfall of Carson Wentz, the guy who went from league MVP to just a horrible quarterback. Um, it's just, it's insane to see. And it's kind of sad in my opinion. Um, but the defense played all right. Grant Delpit had two picks. Uh, Denzel Ward had a great play on the ball to make his first interception um, of the game. Uh I just think that the front seven played better today. Um, I think that, you know, they got a lot of pressure on the Wentz. They got, what, three sacks? Uh, Miles Garrett had a sack and a half. Chase Winovich had a sack. Uh, Taven Bryan had half a sack. So that was pretty good. They forced a turnover on downs. I mean, they technically had four turnovers that they forced Carson Wentz and the commanders to give up. So they played better. Um, 
I'm still saying Joe Wood should be fired. He still has not done enough to prove that he's a good defensive coordinator and that he should keep his job, in my opinion. I would much rather have somebody like Brian Flores as my defensive coordinator. Now, I know some people have been wanting uh, D'Amico Ryans or DeMarco Ryans uh, from uh, uh, San Francisco. I would much rather have Brian Flores. He's already proven to be a defensive coach and a a defensive uh, coordinator. I'd much rather have him on my team just because he's proven. But, I mean, that's just my opinion. But, all in all, Browns got the win. We're 7-9. and nine. We need to win tomorrow or next week against Pittsburgh in order to equal our win total last year. Watson, hopefully, will play good in that game and um, keep showing his growth. And uh, hopefully, 2023... Uh, will be a lot better than what we got this year because eight and nine is not going to cut it. And in my opinion, if you know by the bye week we're under five hundred, I think changes need to be made. And hopefully, uh, Jimmy Haslam um, will recognize that things need to change. I think this, in my opinion, this is Andrew Barry's biggest draft. This is Kevin Stefanski's biggest season next season, and I think that. If they fuck it up, they're going to have to answer for it. And hopefully Jimmy Haslam has the same thinking that I have. Um, But yeah, I mean, it's on to Pittsburgh now. And uh, once that is done, offseason begins. And we will look ahead as to what the Browns should do for the 2023 season. But... Anyways, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate all of your support in 2022. Uh, Road to 1,000 subscribers. We're very close to 500, so hopefully we can get there soon. Um, Thank you guys for watching again. And a reminder, I will be live streaming the first couple games of the NFL playoffs when it comes out next week. Or actually, no, two weeks from now. So make sure you guys are on the lookout for that. I'll see you guys all in another video. Take care.